KG and Paul Pierce. Class of 98. I see you, P. Pierce. <laughs> Rapping. Let's see if we can kick to, kick to the guys and see what they have to say. That's crazy. When you and KG in the same draft? Yeah, Paul went 10 in our draft. I went 11. Which I go? <laughs> I was four. He was five. How crazy is that? I don't think anybody in this generation could have played like 20 years ago. If I'm being 100, and this is to Ant, this is to everybody in our league, Tatum, all y'all. Let me tell y'all something, bro. 20 years ago, bro, you couldn't get to a triple step back. Nah. You hear what I'm saying to you? You couldn't get to a triple step back. And then if you shot that shit, it had to go in. You know why? Because we had, we had efficiency back in the day, my dude. And it was so fucking hard. It was too physical. And guess what? The league had to come off of it for the flow of movement to be able to have scoring go up, which is why we like to sit here and watch kind of the rat race of the high pace game, right? But, bro, let's not talk about the gamingship and let's not talk about the physicality of the game back then. Real shit, because I only think half these kids in the league could have been on an NBA team 20 years ago. Straight up. The locker room was too, it was, it was, it was too grown. Too aggressive, too real. Man, that boy spit number of facts right there. Thoughts? That's what we said. I mean, everything he said is what, man, that's what it is. I'm not saying they can't play in this game, but they got to understand it was so different back then. It was so physical, and they got to be ready for it. You got to be cutting your nature to be able to survive in that gauntlet back then. Like, it was, it was, it was crazy, man. Like, I remember my first day of watching practice when I got traded to Portland, and I watched practice for two days, and I'm watching these dudes go at it, and man, bro, I was shook at the crib going, you know, I was like, golly, man, I don't know if I'm gonna survive. Like the physicality? Just how, yeah, the physicality, hey, everybody was playing, how these, you know, just everybody's stuff was sharp and tight, and you know, it, mind you, it wasn't no training back then. The dudes wasn't specialty training, they were just hooping. Reactionary players, it wasn't like, ah, robotic, ah, 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 it wasn't that. Guys was out there getting, into, they were swerving. And you know, it was aggressive, and dudes dunking, and I was like, God. Like, man, this stuff crazy. It took me a couple months to really just, like, sh let it slow down because I was getting beat up and it was just so much. And I was like, man, this is... I was going to say, it took yeah. you a couple months. And I, you were a physical, too. But I was, was a physical like, was dude. Like, so, yeah, I was it like, was man... Different physicality. So it was different. No, I agree. But mind you, I wasn't that physical until I got messing around. Like, man, you know what? <laughs> let me get in this weight room, man. I got to, man, I got to... How many months... I mean, like, we had to do 20 lifts a month. I'm doing 30. <laughs> 30 day I'm going to F lifting every day. I like man, I couldn't, I couldn't take it. It was so much, man. It was, it was aggressive, and I was like, man, I gotta. I, and then I got a mindset like I gotta be the one throwing the first punch. I ain't just gonna be taking all this. I got to be the one that's gonna be the initiator. And sometimes you can initiate, and guys are kind of. But man, I, I, KG was spot on with everything he said, in my opinion. They used to call the league the No Boys Allowed League. So do y'all feel like that has changed? Um, I, I would say. To the point it has, because for the simple fact, you do have a lot of younger players coming into the league. You don't have that many veterans. Like back when Bonzi and I played, mm -hmm. like you had some vets in the game. You know what I'm saying? You had vets that was already like 38, 39, maybe right. some of them 40. Yeah, they wasn't getting major minutes or major time, but it was, but it was like, yeah. it was like if, if Bonzi needed a rest, all right, they're going to send so-and-so in there to give Bonzi a rest for two or three minutes. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Then it's like, all right, right away, boom. But as that veteran, you already know that. You already know before you go into the game what's going to happen, what's, yeah. what the deal is. You know, the coach either going to spit it to you or you, again, as that sharp veteran player, like, all right, if, if I'm backing Bonzi up and I'm his backer, he's starting uh, two guard. Mm -hmm. And so I'm, as soon as he come off, uh, come out the game, I'm going in for them two or three minutes and like, you know, let's say uh, nine minutes left in the second quarter, I'm giving Bonzi his break. Mm. I'm coming in the game, I'm rocking three minutes, whatever. I ain't got to score, I ain't got to do nothing. My whole job is to give him a rest. So he's over there resting, Gatorade, clapping, this and that, and then in three, four minutes, I did my job. He rested. Now he gonna come out and finish off the second quarter, mm -hmm. the final six minutes. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Giving our team a and chance does, to win yeah. this game. That's that's all part of the veteran leadership that is missing now. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And it goes back to that's some grown man shit. You got to be a grown man to accept that. This mm -hmm. young mother, man, I've been playing in this league for. Eight, nine years, Plus, and this yeah. piss pan ass motherfucker comes in here <laughs> in his third year and think he this and that. I gotta accept it. Yo, do mm. your thing. Look, 
Let me know what you need. I'll give you some little tips on a jab step, whatever, mm. as that veteran. But you got to be able to accept your role. Mm. A lot of guys don't want to accept their role because it goes back to me, in my opinion, what we say about the whole little highlights. I don't want to be embarrassed. Like, yeah. you know, you sitting here like, all right, again, I'm backing Bonzi up. So now you my homie. You my best friend. Mm. We grew up together. So now you're like, damn, mm-hmm. dude. You only got like three motherfucking minutes tonight. <laughs> dude came One in there for six yeah. on you. You ain't getting no shots. You killing me. But I'm like, ah, oh, damn. You know, I'm feeling bad. <laughs> like, oh, shit. This and that. I'm yeah. playing but my role. I'm playing my role. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's what it's about, though. And I mm. think that's that's the main thing that's missing as far as that that that's part of that what KG was saying with that NBA the no boys allowed joint it just doesn't deal with the physicality it's also the mentality of the game because think about it a lot of these young fellas that's playing in the league now during a during a AAU high school and collegiate careers they've been starters mm-hmm. they've been starters with a lot of the starters today how what's the percentages you guys think where these cats could come off the bench with a lot could of it, or wood like that like that would like like say like if it would say if it, we did have a coach mm-hmm. that was you know man enough i'm standing on my motherfucking ground 10 toes to the ground yo you as a young player you not starting we're gonna start this veteran first whatever it may be i'm standing on my point but how many guys you think young guys that's starting right now in the nba would be man enough to accept that role. It's not like it's going to be forever. You think you're saying for their NBA team? Because I think we were talking Olympic ball. A guy like Devin Booker was like, "I'll well, go, I'll shoot threes and play defense, and that's it." Okay, so so we can. But on move NBA to, team, we can move yeah, into the Olympic know, ball. Then we still talking yeah. about veteran players. Hmm. Like those, you gotta you gotta understand as that younger player. Yo, I know my vet's going to go ahead and get that go ahead. These, yeah, we all in the same business, but they've been in the league longer than me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, let, let, uh, was this Jason Tatum's first Olympics? I'm not sure. Uh, second. second. He was in the one last. Okay, yeah. well, you, you got guys on that team. This, this is their, you know, maybe second, third, or fourth Olympics. You know what mm. I'm saying? Yo, be, it's, it's part of the mentality, too. No, don't come on the little boy shit. Yo, be grown. Like, all right, I got to sit back and wait. Same thing. I got to sit back and wait my turn. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. a different league. He had to do this, you know, pretty much the same thing coming through. Uh, and that's what I was just saying with, with guys who always used to start in high school and college. And, you know, you might have come into the NBA, came on a bullshit team. You know what I'm saying? Because obviously you got drafted. A lot of guys ain't get drafted by a lot of these high top tier teams. Right. Came on some bullshit team. You had to wait your turn. You yeah. had to wait your turn, right? 100%. I had to wait my turn. Mm. You had to wait your turn. Mm-hmm. Remember to use promo code SHEED when you play. Don't forget to subscribe to Sheed and Tyler on Apple, Spotify, YouTube, wherever you get your podcast. Follow us on Sheed and Tyler Show on Twitter and Sheed and Tyler Show on Instagram. 